are getting those stimulus checks this week. But with the pandemic, how do we know what the remainder of 2021 will look like and how should we invest or spend our hard earned money? Our next guest has those answers. Dan Hernandez, certified financial planner with Lincoln Investment. Dan, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Nick. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we all know very busy time of year. Not only are those uh, stimulus checks coming in for most people, but Many are preparing their taxes as well, so it's kind of a one-two punch. Are they also anticipating another check again? Uh, how is this going to affect the taxes? And also, do you advise people on kind of how to set themselves up for the success in this new year with uh, those taxes being paid and that check coming in? Uh, a, lot, a lot of stuff there, Nick. Uh, first of all, one of the things that just happened, and it just happened last week with the new COVID relief bill, is that they're going to make the first $10,000 of unemployment benefits tax-free uh, and that's not historically the case unemployment benefits are taxable for federal tax purposes so they just they just passed that last week so for some people that did their taxes early uh, and received unemployment benefits last year they may want to revisit that uh, having said that generally speaking uh, the, the stimulus checks that people are getting those those are tax-free so that's not an issue uh, it, you know, and, and you and I have talked before on this. I think it's important, uh, you know, if, if 2020 has shown us anything, it's important that people create and maintain an emergency fund. So if they're getting the stimulus check, uh, make sure you have that emergency fund set up. And then you can, you know, go about the rest of your business, which, which could be, you know, other savings, investing, and so on. Right. This might be an opportunity to kind of restock that reserve fund if, if you haven't had it before. So very important. But when it comes to the market, uh, has the coronavirus, uh, the vaccines, how have they impacted the, the, the market of late? Uh, by and large, uh, most analysts uh, are surprised by how well the market's doing. I mean, there's uh, the, this, this latest round of stimulus. Uh, there's a lot of money going into the market, a lot of money going into the economy. Market, you know, S&P, you know, hit a new high yesterday. Uh, so the markets are doing well. And, and I anticipate the rest of the year is going to be okay. You know, what we're seeing more and more openings, uh, restaurants increasing capacity to, to 50%, uh, at least locally. Uh, you know, some states are, are 100%. Um, so you're seeing travel, uh, airline Flyers are, are at the at the highest they've been since last March. So this is going to keep happening. There's going to be more and more people dining out, more and more people traveling, more and more people uh, taking cruises. So economies opening up, more money being spent, you know, less unemployment, higher earnings. So I think the rest of the year is setting up to be pretty good. I'm going to go back to the, the reserve fund topic just for one quick second, because obviously you mentioned the activity on the market right now. Uh, it's going to be very active in the next couple of weeks, at least with those stimulus checks coming into people's accounts. How do you approach that? Some people are going to have some questions of, wait, what, do I take that money and invest it in the market short term and try to try to capitalize on, on some of the, uh, the market's activity? Or do I just replenish my reserve fund or add to it so that if this, something like this happens again, I'll be prepared? Yeah, I mean, short-term speculation is always dangerous. You know, while I'm telling you, uh, look, I feel good about the market, I feel good about the economy uh, through the rest of the year, uh, it doesn't mean for any, any two-month period it's going to be good. So short-term speculation is dangerous. Uh, so once you have that reserve set up, and, and I think it's imperative they set that reserve up, once you have that up, and, and again, you know, three to six months, worth of expenses as we've spoken about in the past. Once that's set up, uh, yeah, talk, talk to your advisor. I mean, short-term speculation's okay if you have the, the reserve set up and you've taken care of some other long-term investing. Uh, you know, it's tax time, so now's an opportunity to do IRAs, Roth IRAs, if you don't have them in place. Once you have your, your emergency funds set up, you have your long-term stuff set up, then yeah, you know, doing a little speculation is fine as long as you know the risks, but that's that's got to be secondary to the longer term stuff. Absolutely. Never a bad time to think about the long term for sure. All right, Dan Hernandez, as always, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Where can people go for more information on what you do? Uh, my office is in Voorhees. They can email me at dhernandez at lincolninvestment.com. Yeah, Thanks, and I've man. asked Dan some personal questions myself, and he's always got great advice. So don't forget about Dan. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks so much, Dan. Thanks for having me. All right, you got it. Well, have you ever... Uh,